You know what I'm saying? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Don't stop rocking now. I'm on stage. That's the lead, God damn it. There's more than one Brendan in this building. Give it up for Marshall Brandon, I love him, man. It's like an idol of mine, man. It's so funny. It's so funny, man. It's so funny. I got the two best people in the front. Friends over here. My mama here. Clap it up, my mom. It's my first show. My mom here. Yeah. Nigga, we made it. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Mama in the house. That's some good shit, man. She about to hit me because of a storm, these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm about to be up here, man. But let me get into this real quick, man. I, I was having a discussion up there with my friends, and it's, it's crazy. I want to ask y'all, too. I want to know how y'all feel about this, you know. Let's just say I'm going to put you in a scenario, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say you over your friend's house. Let's say you're watching the BET Awards, Orange is the New Black, whatever y'all watch on TV, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you're on the couch, you're sitting down, minding your business, and then at the corner of your eye, you just see a roach run by real fast. <laughs> Now, it didn't go too fast that you knew it was a roach, but you've seen it run by, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know what your reaction would be like. Like, do you do you panic? Do you leave? Like, do you get out of there? Do you leave? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to let somebody know? I feel like you shouldn't have those type of feelings towards somebody that got roaches in their house. Because you don't know the struggle they going through with roaches in their house, you know what I'm saying? Roaches aren't easy to get rid of, you know what I'm saying? Roaches, they, they, they die hard, you know what I'm saying? Like Bruce Willis, I'm telling you, for real, it's not easy to kill roaches, you know what I'm saying? You don't know everything they've been through trying to get them out. I mean, Ray, exterminators, that costs money, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not easy to get them roaches out, and roaches are a bad thing. Like, they're not disgusting. Roaches show strength. Perseverance, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't have roaches for five, ten years. That's a strong buff. In Africa, we worship roaches. They fly out there, you know what I'm saying? They got wings, you know what I'm saying? That's like a state bug, country bug. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you should, you know, react in a scared way, you know what I'm saying? And to my people with roaches, just know, if you got roaches right now, Brandon, Brandon feel for you. Brandon know the struggle you're going through, because I come from roaches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I come from roaches, so I know how it is, you know? But I'm gonna tell y'all, if you do got roaches, don't, don't talk about your roach problems with anybody, okay? Keep that shit to yourself. If nobody never seen a roach in your house, don't go around telling people you got roaches in your house. Because the rumors they're gonna spread about you is gonna be over-exaggerated. Over-exaggerated as hell, all right? I'm telling you. I can see it now, especially if it was a female. Girl, I was at Shantae house last night, watching the BET Awards. Wow, fucking roach ran by the girl. I must touch my purse, girl. I had to lie. I told her I think I left the stove on. I left. Oh, like some man. exaggerated shit. The same thing, gotcha. Then you're gonna be known as the roach person. Thank hey, you. that house got roaches in it. You know, you don't want to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't. Fourth of July coming up. Fourth of July coming up. Clap it up for that. Fourth of July. Uh, this is a little disclaimer for my black people. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like to get drunk. We all drinking tonight. And we in Clan Chester too. So, you know, don't get too drunk. <laughs> and you got to get into it with a cop. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we in Clan Chester. And black people be thinking y'all got rights. We don't have rights. We just got options. We got two options, okay? It's either comply or die. That's all you got. When there's, when there's a black guy with a cop, that's all you got. Comply or die, all right? I need y'all to know that. So next time you with an officer, officer pull you over. I want you guys to be on your best behavior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard you, sir. Thank you, master. Whatever you got to do to get out of that ticket, all right? So, comply or die. Remember I told you that. Comply or die. And yeah, like Brandon was saying, man, I'm... I'm I'm kind of mixed up about the, uh, the gay marriage thing, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, on, I'm on the middle, I'm on the middle of the fence with that. Because I got friends who are gay, and I'm happy for them. But it's like, I got to think about myself, you know what I'm saying? Because gay people, they not going to come out and tell you, especially a trend, like, they not going to come out and tell you, oh, I was a man before, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you hitting on a transsexual, or you hitting on a trend, and she looks good, you not gonna know she a man until you get her home, you know what I'm saying? Chances are, you know what I'm saying? Unless you can really see the Adam apple underneath all the makeup, you not gonna really know, you know what I'm saying? That happened to me once, I was at a comedy show, man. <laughs> and and I, I did kind of good, and the lady came up to me, and she was like, yo, you did really good, you know, let me buy you some drinks, you know, you kind of remind me of Dwayne Wade, I want to get you some drinks. <laughs> I like this lady trying to get me drunk, trying to, trying to fuck me up, you know what I'm saying? Trying to take me home tonight. So I, yeah, I let her, yo, I let her. I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy 
having some drinks, you know, a couple shots and drinks later, we started talking, and she was talking about some freaky stuff, so I was asking her, I was like, so, you know, what's the freakiest thing you ever done in bed? And she was like, she put the drink down, she had the drink, she's like, oh, <laughs> freakiest thing I ever done in bed? <laughs> I gave somebody soup coolers. She's like, what the hell, what soup coolers? Missionary, dog style, all that shit. What, what soup coolers? She said, soup coolers is when I bend you over and I blow on your ass like this. <laughs> I was like, I was like, why, why are you gonna blow on my ass? And then she leaned in and she was like, boy, when I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging me to blow on your ass. And I see a bunch of y'all laughing too. That happened to you before, man. You never know. I wanted to admit that shit either. This is the first time I actually told anybody about that shit. I was scared as hell. I didn't know what was going on. My gator was broke, man. Like, did that happen to you? Yo, what that happened to you? No, they point like it happened to you. Yo, they throwing you under the bus. They ain't your friends. Better get rid of those suckers. Quick fast. But yeah, man. I got to come up here and warm it up. It's kind of hot up here. All this black, these damn lights on me and shit. I'm too bad for this shit. Um. My supporters, my friends and shit, I'm glad y'all here. Mom Dukes, I'm glad mom ain't here. My supporters over here, I'm glad y'all here. Marshall cut down my time, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to do a lot of time, but he cut me up because, you know, we got another funny guy coming up next, and I, I love him. I can't wait till y'all see him either. But, uh, yo, I'm glad y'all made it out here tonight. You know, real talk. We need a lot to eat. Uh, I, got a, I got a show coming out Friday, show enough. That's at the uh, Revolution. I got more time there. You know what I'm saying, you know, my minutes is low right now on my phone and in real life, so you know, you gotta, uh, <laughs> come check me out up there, man, real talk, I really, really appreciate that, and, uh, you know, y'all looking real sexy out here, remember what I told you, black people, comply or die, alright, comply or die, and before I get out of here, I'm gonna leave you with one thing, man, one thing, never trust a girl that put hot sauce on everything she eat, man, alright, <laughs> hey, man, my name is Brandon Jones, man, I wanna thank y'all, man, appreciate it, man. Thank y'all for coming out. You know, I, I would have given more time, but that, that spot just, it, just, yeah, it don't have.